Hey YouTube, I'm Mr. Terry, a high school history teacher, and welcome back to another History Teacher Reacts video. All right, today's video was chosen very narrowly by our awesome patrons over at Patreon. Now, the name of this video is Tariffs and Taxes, the Real Cause of the Civil War. All right, now this is by a channel called Atun Shy. I'm sure that I messed that up, but it's a channel I've seen in my recommended feeds, but I don't know anything about it. But um, I haven't really done a lot of reaction videos to, to be honest, a lot of American history outside of maybe the world wars and the civil war, I know is something a lot of people are fascinated in. Um, I've generally focused on things more global as I'm like a world history teacher. Um, so hopefully you guys that aren't Americans are interested in this idea because the American civil war is a, is a, a defining part obviously of American history, but it has some interesting debates that go around it from the fact that sometimes some people from the northern states versus the southern states, which was what the war was between, um, have different ideas and different historical perspectives on the war and specifically the causes of the war. Now, the general held belief is that at the heart of things were the issues of slavery. But you may get a different sort of approach to that, that it's much more, uh, it's not just about that, it's about other things you know, states' rights, and then you get down to questions like, well, a state's right to do what? And there's all kinds of different things that you can go down with that. But nevertheless, I'm always interested in hearing the different takes about this. Hopefully this is a great entertaining video. Um, I'm sure it will be. Anyway, the link to the original video is down below, so make sure you give credit to the original uh, channel creators there. And if this is something good and you think I should watch more from this channel, definitely let me know. The best way to do that is actually to join our Discord server uh, because there's a video suggestions channel that you can put videos in and it keeps track of things a lot better than, say, putting in the YouTube comments. But you can definitely do that if you'd like to. All right, and with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I was trying to find a shirt that was the closest to the American Civil War that I could think of. And that's why I'm wearing, you saw it in the earlier shot, but this is Abraham Lincoln. He's fighting a black bear for some reason. It's way too small for me. It's from a skinnier day, but I'm trying my best to uh, fit the part there. So, yeah. All right, let's do this. Give her a kiss. Sean and Saunders yeah, come on. Can unboxing you video. Baby? What is this? This is what I'd be doing on YouTube if I didn't have a history Ooh, channel. This is the content I think I'd make, I guess. Hey, what's up? Not too shy, sir. It is time to make oh, another a confederate. episode of Checkmate Lincolnites, a wildly unpopular internet show. No, man, no, I am Lincoln. done talking about the Civil War. <laughs> oh, come on now, sir. Everybody wants you to do it. I don't care. I used to think that my Civil War videos could do some good, you know, but nobody's minds are getting changed. They either think I'm a Yankee butthurt soy boy or the second <laughs> coming of hippie Jesus. You know, there are some people out there who call me a bread tuber. Bread tuber? Does that refer to Vino Farms early content? No, apparently it's just liberals who make YouTube videos. <laughs> well, that's the silliest thing I've ever heard. I know. I'm just so over it. Oh, oh come now, sir. Well, that's no fun for anybody. Here's a phone no, from no, the future. I mean it, man. I'm done. Just let me make my weird homoerotic Nazi videos in peace. Jesus. What is this I'm sorry channel? I feel that way, so I, I suppose I'll have to do it myself. And I can tell everyone how the war of northern aggression was fought over tariffs and taxes. Wait, okay. So it, it, it's not even about states' rights? Because that's usually the first thing you get from that type of view if you're not going to say just straight up it's slavery right the issue of slavery it's states rights that's what you often hear from certain people from the southern perspective tariffs and taxes okay i'm on my way <laughs> all right so we got the northern guy that's what he's dressed up as they wore a like a navy blue and there's the southern guys they wore gray the confederacy Did they vape back then I did not know that. He's missing some buttons. It's a good way to open a bottle. <laughs> I 
What you got there? You did it. Oh, uh, it's just a delicious bottle of Jack Daniels. I'm playing the whataboutism drinking game. Basically, whenever you try to divert the conversation by pointing out something bad the union did, I take a drink. Yes. That's ridiculous. You this, that is, uh, that is perfect to bring up in a historical conversation. People do that all the time. And people all the time, you know, ask me questions like, who's your favorite this person or who is heroic in history and stuff like that. And every time you have those conversations, you have somebody that's going to be like, you might say, yeah, I like this person. And someone's going to go, well, what about that they supported insert negative thing here? Um, that's just one way that works. But a lot of times, yeah, it's the what about ism. Well, this person was bad, but this person was also bad. You know, that kind of thing. The what about ism. It's what they call that. Well, you say, what about blank? And it's, uh, it's, I think it's dang near like a logical fallacy to bring that up. Like it's an argument. You Yankees do that just as much as we do. Checkmate, Lincolnites. Could I figure out a way to do this with my green screen videos? That is him, right? Twice. He doesn't have like a twin brother or partner or something. Where I could make myself, instead of doing my clips back and forth when I do this. The program where we annihilate academic historical consensus in favor of true history, which my grandpappy revealed to me one Lee Jackson He's a good day actor. after he had consumed an entire 12-pack of Natty Light all by himself. Tonight, we shall reveal the true reason for some. I like this. Secession. Preserving slavery? Yes, it oh. was fought over slavery. Not that the South is paying 80% of the taxes of the entire nation. What? <laughs> Cat got your tongue. Cat is that anywhere close to true? I don't know. Is that anywhere close to true? I, I never saw that come up in any curriculum I was ever taught or have taught. Can't think of one of your pithy comebacks. No, I'm... I'm just trying to process what you just said. Uh, so the shipping goes out so of the north. that's not true. Okay. It's not even close to truth. It's okay. not in a 50-mile radius of truth. <laughs> like, if you dropped an atomic bomb on truth, <laughs> what you just said wouldn't even have radiation. <laughs> See, in the days before the Civil That's War, awesome. income taxes, property taxes, sales Good taxes, joke. those weren't really a thing. So when you're saying taxes, True. you're referring to tariffs on imports, exactly. which is how the federal government made its money. <laughs> we actually have a record of most of the foreign goods imported into the United States. Because now it's happening in the South. In the annual report of the Chamber of Commerce of the state of New York. The report shows that from July 1859 <laughs> to June 1860, $233.7 million worth of foreign goods were brought into the port of New York, of okay. which $203.4 million were subject to tariffs. During that same time period, all other American <laughs> ports combined to hold with stats and facts. $128.5 million worth of goods of which 76.5 million were subject to tariffs. I love the research done, though. That's awesome. New York merchants were single-handedly paying 63.5% of all the federal government's revenue that year. Wait, and what was that again? 5%. New York merchants were single-handedly paying 63.5% of all the federal government's revenue that year. And it wasn't just some anomaly. New York... Just New York. Uh, I mean, I know... You know, at this time, the, the, the New York was exploding, you know, and, and um, the harbor there was uh, was, was uh, kind of the biggest there. I mean, you have there in Boston, right? But New York, Boston being the first especially big one, and then New York developing um, a little bit after that. New York had provided nearly two-thirds of the government's revenue in the previous five years as well. Interesting. That city was the government's biggest cash cow by a huge margin. By the way, think if you're that dude, whoever that was, that they put up the comment on YouTube. You're <laughs> if 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 we'll see what what the points are they make later. But just imagine if you did a comment that was so bad, so off the mark, right outside the radiation zone of atomic bomb. It's so bad that you that somebody makes like a high production video in response to it. Okay, challenge accepted, YouTubers. Followed only distantly by Boston in second place and New Orleans in third. Hey, <laughs> hey, did you listen to a word I just said? The South left because of the moral tariff. 
the Union killed Indians and exiled Jews. Okay, we Look got more. Look up Judah P. Benjamin, the Jewish Confederate. <sighs> okay. But why did the Federals fight? The Yankee mercantilism that was gonna be in trouble if the South won its independence. Oh no! They would have a next door competitor charging a 10% tariff compared to the moral tariff of 40%. There you go. That's just like a total debate lord comment here. Russell Person, old white guy. Your problem is you suggest that Southerners will not say that secession was larger, largely caused by concerns about slavery. Well, your problem is you suggest the Southerners will not say that secession was largely caused by concerns about slavery. Yeah, future slave law and economic issues, as well as former Whig being elected to the White House. But why did the Federals fight? Okay, the mercantilism that was going to fail... With the next uh, next door competitor charging ten percent tariff from the moral tax forty percent. Okay, none of that proves any kind of point though. Add to the moral tariff of forty percent. There you go. So I'm throwing up points Check for the sake of points. Ask. That's the name of the program. You want to talk about the moral tariff? Let's talk about the moral tariff. Put very simply, it was a reaction to the Panic of 1857, and it was meant to jumpstart the nation's struggling economy. It may have aided your Hamiltonian industries, but not our Jeffersonian agriculture. Y'all were just trying to develop your New England factories into something that would rival True. the profitable and well-established factories of Britain. Me Industrial Revolution is on the eve there, the kind of second Industrial Revolution. It's, it's kind of the eve of that. It's kind of tr uh, transforming from the early one with uh, basic mechanical factories happened that started to kind of in the late 1700s and then that was developing in the 1800s and then of course booms in about the 1880s with the really the industrial revolution that you think of so this is kind of that in between phase of these different revolutions if you want to look at it that way meanwhile you had pennsylvanians in particular but many northern industrialists petitioning the government to make it more favorable for them financially beneficial for them the whole affair reeked of nepotism and corruption. <laughs> Furthermore, I You're right. <laughs> I am? Yes. That this is great. I, I want to appreciate just from a, like a, a content creating perspective of the editing and the back and forth, even though you play one character. I'm kind of interested in how he did it. Did he act um, with nobody there? Did he have a stand in somebody like standing? I could see like it'd be helpful having someone standing in. And being the other character when you're filming to do the script, so you could have like better timing and reactions. Um, so props, props to, uh, props to this guy. Wait, we actually agree on something? Yes, the moral tariff was unquestionably favorable for northern interests and detrimental to southern ones. But did anyone cite that? It though? wasn't passed through Congress until March of 1861. After and the war, if southern states had to start after in December the beginning of, of the secession. Then there's no fucking way it would have gotten passed. Right. So rather than being the cause of secession, the moral tariff happened as a result of secession. Yeah. And so you see there, the, the, the presidential election in 1860 of Mr. Bear fighting Lincoln is immediately when states started seeding. So there is a historical timeline there that um, it looks like that's not in line if that's the, the moral act, if that's going to be something you're going to cite case it was just one of many grievances that southern democrats had with northern republicans the principal one was the republican stance on slavery saying the civil war was only about slavery is ignorant the civil war was extremely complicated what about the tariff of 1861 i literally all the dozens after of secession. newspapers speaking of a tax war most historians agree that the civil war was too complicated to tear what about the 70 percent of men who didn't own slaves and fought for what well at least we got the percentage of slave owners right this time Fair point as far as the people fighting, but um, you still have secession. Regardless, right? Secession's happening before this war is happening. So before people are, are doing it. So, yeah. Those newspapers you're referring to were mainly British rags, like the London Times. The Brits, they had a vested interest in keeping that transatlantic cotton trade going to fuel their own industries. Sure. Naturally, they sided with the Southern Democrats, who were all about free trade, and they shared their criticisms of the moral tariff, which was extremely protective. The Confederate government desperately needed British assistance <laughs> if they had any hope of winning the war. So they encouraged that myth that the war was being fought over taxes, Britain, of course, being very anti-slavery at the time. 
but some British abolitionists knew better. The philosopher John Stuart Mill wrote an opinion piece in a pro-Union newspaper in 1862 in which he correctly stated, There is a theory in England that on the side of the North, the question is not one of slavery at all. The North, it seems, have no more objection to slavery than the South have. Their leaders never say one word implying disapprobation of it. Wait, 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 who is this? There is a theory in a pro-Union newspaper better. The philosopher John Stuart Mill wrote an opinion okay, piece yes. in a pro-Union newspaper in 1862, in which he correctly stated, There is a theory in England that on the side of the North, the question is not one of slavery at all. The North, it seems, have no more objection to slavery than the South have. Their leaders never say one word implying disapprobation of it. They are ready, on the contrary, to give it new guarantees, to renounce all that they have been contending for, to win back, if opportunity offers, the South to the Union by surrendering the whole point. If this be the true state of the case, what are the Southern chiefs fighting about? Their apologists in England say that it is about tariffs, and similar trumpery. They say nothing of the kind. They tell the world, and they told their own citizens when they wanted their votes, that the object of the fight was slavery. The world knows what the question between the North and South has been for many years, and still is. Slavery alone was thought of, alone talked of. Slavery was battled for and against, on the floor of Congress and in the plains of Kansas. On the slavery question exclusively was the party constituted, which now rules the United States. On slavery, Fremont was rejected. On slavery, Lincoln was elected. The South separated on slavery, and proclaimed slavery as the one cause of separation. He goes on. John Stuart Mill is an interesting character for some of his um, social ideas during the burgeoning industrial revolution and, and kind of thinking about the societal effects and proposing things. Um, interesting guy to get into um, if you're looking at uh, especially philosophical um, things and economic, like kind of mix of economics and, and, and philosophy in society, mixing those kind of up for this era, definitely look into him. On to predict that as the war continued, the cause of preserving the union would become... By the way, um... I'm pretty sure, I feel like I reacted to a video before about, it was like, what What did the rest of the world think of the American Civil War? I feel like I've reacted to that video, or at the very least I saw it on my own, because I thought that was an interesting thing to see, like, it's such a, a big part of American history, obviously, but unless I was reacting to the reaction by the American Revolution, I've done so many videos now, I'm having a hard time keeping track, but... Uh, yeah, I'd still like to know too, if you're, if you're not American, um, what, what have you been told about the civil war as far American civil war, as far as it's, uh, what, what, it ca what, what caused it? Um, let me know in the comments or, uh, over on discord. Separable from the cause of abolishing slavery that came to pass when Lincoln signed the emancipation proclamation. After that, as a direct result of that, the British public became very uncomfortable with the idea of supporting the Confederacy. Yeah. In your eagerness to blame white people. Um, the, the British had already abolished slavery by this point. In every video you made, ah, one you've of these forgotten people. about the nullification crisis. South Carolina nearly rebelled during Andrew Jackson's presidency over just such a protectionist terror. That South Carolina was always the hub for this this stuff coming out of the south the kind of rebellion um they'd been it, it had been a hotbed for like they're saying there for decades before the civil war would not have been hard to predict that if the civil war a uh, civil war was to start that south carolina would be a key component of it early on and they were the first to secede meaning officially like a state that they're leaving the united states that's true, but as John C. Calhoun himself pointed out in 1830, I consider the tariff act as the occasion, rather than the real cause of the present unhappy state of things. The truth can no longer be disguised, that the peculiar domestic institution of the southern states, and the consequent direction which that and her soil have given to her industry, has placed them in regard to taxation and appropriations, in opposite relation to the majority of the Union. Mm -hmm. So in summary, protective tariffs were a big point of contention between North and South leading up to the Civil War, but it was ancillary to, and directly influenced by, the South's dependency on slave labor, which they would do anything to preserve and defend. Sure. You can eat shit. If the <laughs> North was so damn noble, why did the same damned army that invaded the South? What about ism? Take a drink. South kill the American Indians. Sounds like bullshit. Oh, he is. So we're back why don't you have a debate now. with a real person instead of playing with yourself? Stop whining because we have had so much pro-union one-sided crap. You get triggered when the tiger side is allowed to have their say. The South U.S. everywhere south of the Canadian border. Both oh. sides were pro-slavery. The Confederacy just never lied <laughs> oh. about it. Now I'm going to bring some Confederate Ooh. flag waving oh. hip hop tub and black dance party. Wait, did we run out of comments? Tubs creating the ultimate dilemma. I think we ran Even out of comments. 
YouTube comment sections are like, I don't know. I'm, af I'm afraid to say, but like, they, <laughs> do YouTube comment sections really actually resemble a portion of society? I think they might, right? It's like a microcosm. And you get this. It's like somebody, these last two people, like, just got drunk. These these guys are whatever, whatever, they're confederates, whatever, you know, whatever they're saying there. Just, I don't even know if they're drunk. I'd, I'd like to think they're drunk for the fact that they can't punctuate. They can't complete sentences. Um, if they're not drunk and drunk replying, then it makes it, it makes it even worse. So, yeah. And, okay, I want to let it continue because it looks like at the end here, there's a bunch of stuff that's just like, has nothing to do with the Civil War topic. Listen, man. Everybody fly on the rebel flag. You know, have a meaningful connection with human beings. Well, You're a cop. Outside or some shit. Over that I'll see you later. BS. Bye. <laughs> so he goes in about hick hop and mumble rap BS. My gosh, I need to do a, like a comments video or something. My stuff isn't exactly like this because I don't necessarily put out a bunch of videos with take, like my own personal takes that much. They're just their commentary is, you know, like that. I'm sure I would get more of this, but I don't know. Comment videos are pretty funny. <laughs> I feel like that went well. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, you think, like, got him! Checkmate! Oh my gosh, let's talk about this. Alright, this this was fantastic. Uh, I, I Thank you, patrons, for voting on this. Um, if it's this format, with, like, playing these characters, and there's the, the comedy, and then some really good historical content then count me in as a fan of this channel and uh we'll try to find some other uh some other videos um to do because it seems like this was in reaction to a previous video because i think the other video that was in the poll for this i think was it was about the civil war too it was like war of southern or northern aggression like it, it feels like it might have been a response to this maybe they've done or he's done um a bunch of civil war related films um, but nevertheless, yeah, I like this. I like this style. I think this is a lot of fun. Um, but it had that awesome, yeah, balance of uh, of the the humor and uh, some great information. It had a great just like strategy and and and, and uh, style. I really like that. So thanks to you guys that that voted on this. Um, this was great and really good. I again, I don't I don't uh, teach U.S. history anymore. I haven't for about five years. Uh, but I used to, and it's good. I I like to jump back in every once in a while and just refresh. You know, refresh some stuff and what the some of the arguments have always been. And it, it reminds me of those times when I did that. So great to jump back into that. All right. The original video link is down below. Make sure you go and click that. Give it the view, like, subscribe. If you've already seen it, give it, you know, make sure you go back and give it a like and sub if you haven't. Um, and, of course, if you haven't seen it, you know, hopefully you want to you go over there, too, and check it out uh, as well. Okay, if you would like to vote in polls on future videos, uh, if you join our patron, every level of uh, patron pledge gets access to the polls. And yeah, you can get a little more influence on what happens over in the channel. All right, with that, there's links to some other stuff down below as well. And with that, we'll see you next time. Bye.